In the heart of the Sea of Rakash, Skeletor nearly completes his mysterious Dark Arcane Ceremony. Scatner confirms Pergalactic Threat Energy Signature of Cordite Crystal confirmed, he man. Whoa, that's how he's unlocking the multidimensional gateway, Roboto. We've got to stop him, bro. Abacazabaz and bam! Destroy them, my Leviathan. Your king commands it. We gotta stop this thing before Skeletor opens up that gateway, dude. Inconceivable, amigo. We don't have the time to stop them both. Then I choose Skeletor. Buena suerte, mi amigo. But time is not on He-Man's side. Nah, I've done it, see? The multidimensional gate is open. And all the power in the multiverse shall be mine to control. And nobody's gonna stop me, not even He-Man. <laughs> the heart of the multiverse. Abacazabra's a doom! Ah oh, yes, the power! All oh, the power, see? The power of every universe flows through me! Yeah. Skeletor, stop this madness! You threaten the balance of the universe! As Cosmic Enforcer, I order you to cease and desist! You dare order me, Zodak! You know power for the match I now wield, see? Nah! That may be true, but there is one thing more powerful than your newfound cosmic power, you hubris! Ah, you missed me, copper! Think again, bone brain. Thanks for the power boost, Zodak dude! Like, you're totally gonna regret attacking Etheria, dweeb. <laughs> well, it gotta remove the Kordak crystal from his Havoc staff. Even with our combined might, Skeletor's too powerful. That would result in him death for any mortal. Fortunately, I am no mere mortal. I am a Roboto. <laughs> Silver Creep, Cosmic Balance is no longer in danger. Beginning systems analysis. Take it easy, bro. You've done enough. I like gotta get back to Etheria, bro. Who knows what kind of gnarly damage was caused. Don't worry about Bone Brain, he's in the right hands. Okay, Masters of the Universe Origins Series 3, She-Ra does not say new for 21, does not say uh, retro play, modern posing. It says includes comic, bande dessinée incluse, incloye comic. Uh, and then it does include the comic, but we'll notice the difference on that comic book once we open it up. It is Dimensional Doom, which we just saw. Princess of Power, She-Ra. Now, why, do you ask, does this box look so different? from the rest of the Masters of the Universe Origins figures you may have seen is because I had to buy this one online from a scalper. Uh, it happens to be the International Market <laughs> uh, version of She-Ra, and you can really tell once we get on the back because we don't have a blurb across the top. We just have a, an image of She-Ra uh, charging Hordak. And, and then we have a big uh, thing in a bunch of different languages that just says includes comic. Uh, and <laughs> that's about it. No instructions, hardly any English on the back here because this is the UK and Canada uh, version of the Masters of the Universe Origins figures. So I don't know if there's any real differences once you get the figure out of the box. And that's what's really important here. I want to see this figure outside the box. I open up my shit anyway, so the box that it comes in is really irrelevant. I just I just want it brand new in the box, so I open it up. I got first holds on it, and uh, that's what it's going to be. And who is next? <laughs> 
Next up is Roboto, new for 21. Twist his waist, unleash his robot power. Modern Posey Retro Play, finally. Like, back, back to what is familiar. All the things that we love here back home in the good old U.S. of A. Um, we have our Roboto packaging looking like like it's supposed to, right? Right, guys? Anyway, I turn the box around and we see Roboto built to be mighty and programmed to be courageous. Roboto protects his friends and defends Eternia. Twist his waist. His gears turn and jaw move automatically. Three interchangeable weapons. He is very... Roboto. <laughs> that is him. And as we can see, the collect them all in the back. We have He-Man, Skeletor, She-Ra, Roboto, Zodak, and Merman. We've seen Merman before, and we'll see him again later on once we look at these figures outside of the box. But in the meantime, who's next? Finally, it is Zodak, Cosmic Enforcer, Space Cop, if you will, Modern Posing Retro Play. We've got our Dimensional Doom comic book behind him, and we have Zodak pictured, actually posing inside the box as he's supposed to be looking like. There he is. It's Zodak. Zodak with a C, as, as opposed to Zodak with a K, which was another character. I hope we do get a Zodak with a K. They're making all kinds of extra characters for Origins. Give me Zodak with a K. Give me all the stinking Masters of the Universe characters in Origins line. I love this line. Turn the box around, we see Zodak's immense power comes with the price of maintaining the cosmic balance from anyone, good or evil. And uh, we've got uh, the laser pistol in his hand. Oh, wow, he can hold his accessories, twist into powerful battle positions. Here's yet another figure with no action feature. Doesn't need one. Doesn't need one. Um, and we've got our uh, Zodak chair behind him. In his in his picture here, we also have um, the, the 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 flying falcon thing and, and, and point whatever the fuck. Yes, that they need to make that. <laughs> Goddamn, I'm so excited! <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Let's get these figures outside of the box and see what they look like on the inside. All right, so let's take a look first at Merman. Um, we saw him before. Back in December in uh, the Merman review, so if you want to take a look at a further, uh, more in-depth look at the figure, uh, go ahead and take a look at that video uh, from back in December, but we'll still take a look at him right now. Love the colors on this figure. Always have. Uh, didn't have one growing up, so it's nice to have this in the collection now. Uh, the Origins is great for, um, if you can find them, it's great for filling the gaps on figures you didn't have growing up and kind of getting that complete Masters of the Universe set. Um, they become easier to find, um, and, and you know, thanks to sites like BigBadToyStore.com, um, I've been able to find a lot of the figures that I've wanted. And uh, once, once I started uh, pre-ordering on there, I was able to, through a combination of that, and uh, you know, just kind of looking around here and there, I've been able to find pretty much everything that I want. Um, and and this figure, um, I did find. I found it out in the wild. I found it at my comic book store, my local comic book store. Don't sleep on your local comic book store, folks. Um, they, they've got cool stuff in there. Um, just go ahead and ask them. Uh, if if anything shows up in previews, they can order it for you. And uh, you know, maybe it take a little bit longer because. These big companies don't like to, to serve the little guy as fast as they will Target and Walmart. But um, I can guarantee you this stuff will come in and uh, they will they will hook you up. And, and better to give your money to a, to a local business, to, uh, to support a local business. It's cool to have those guys there to find cool stuff that people like us like to collect. But that is Merman. All right, and next up is She-Ra, Princess of Power. Of course, She-Ra, not, uh, not a part of the original Masters of the Universe line. Had her own line, 
uh, that came a little, little bit later on in the in the lifespan of Masters of the Universe. The original figure, of course, had the uh, had the, the plugged hair. This one, no sculpted. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God for sculpted hair. Uh, plugged hair is stupid, and it uh, certainly wouldn't look good on a figure this size. Didn't look good on the old figure, in my opinion. Uh, but let, that's irrelevant. We're looking at the new figure, um, which is cool. She's got all the modern posing and uh, retro play or whatever you want. Even though it didn't say it on the box, um, that's what she's got. She's got some uh, soft goods uh, cape and a uh, little sort of uh, skirt dress. I don't know what you want to want to call it. Another piece of her outfit here. Got some cool um, holographic sparkly shit on her, and uh, comes with the uh, her sword. Um, then she can say, "I have the power," and uh, turn into Shira. And of course, a shield. And this is another cool thing. You take this little little gimmick right here, turn this bad boy upside down, and holy shit, it's a mask. Very, very cool. Love this figure. Love that she's in my collection. Sucks that I had to go to great lengths to find her online. Wish that you were able to find her a little bit easier, but that is She-Ra. Okay, and here is Roboto. He's Roboto. He's a robot. He's got all sorts of cool sculpting on his body, just like the old figure from the old vintage line and just like the old figure in the old vintage line when you twist his body <laughs> the gears move and his uh, little little uh, knight's mask thing moves up and down and it's pretty cool and if you move it fast enough it's like he's got a machine gun <laughs> so pretty cool and he also has this arm um, that has a hole on the end of it you have a gun Take that off easily. He's got an axe. Take that off and replace it with a little cl robot clamp. Um, so very, very cool figure is Roboto. Great colors, a little bit brighter, a little bit more brilliant coloring than the old school figure. Of course, this is also made in a different material than the old school figure. Um, I love this new figure. This is actually a pretty cool figure. Um, I'm, 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 I just opened it up, so I'm actually still um, getting used to it. This, his mechanism works easier than the old one. I'll tell you this right now. I had the old one, and, um, and while it worked pretty good, um, this guy goes all the way around, and uh, it's smooth. Smooth as butter. I love this figure, and uh, that is Roboto. And finally, we come down to the Cosmic Enforcer, Zodak, a, a character that as a kid, not, um, not super keen on, didn't really care about it. But as I've gotten older, um, I've become a bigger fan of Zodak. I've ac actually, I actually like Zodak, uh, the, the sort of mysterious nature, the duality. Uh, he's a cosmic enforcer. He doesn't care if you're good or bad. He, he's there to keep the peace. He, he comes with a, with his gun, his pistol here, his laser gun. Um, and, and, and he's awesome. Um, I hope they do come out with the, uh, with the flying chair for him. Um, that he can zip around the galaxy and keep an eye on things. I love his mask. I just like the simple look of him. He's got a simple, easy look. There's nothing super flashy about him, but there doesn't really need to be because he's he's just really cool. Very serious looking. Um, kind of that perfect Masters of the Universe mix of science fiction and uh, barbarism. <laughs> he's got the, the, the sort of furry beastie ch torso uh, and chest. He's got this uh, sort of uh, futuristic uh, uh, chest piece, his uh, spacey helmet, his laser pistol. Um, he has the, uh, the, the claw feet <laughs> like Skeletor. Uh, and, he's, and he's got the, 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 furry, the furry Speedo trunks and the, and the muscly uh, He-Man hands and the evil guy. He's got the evil guy uh, claw hands on the end here. 
Um, very, very cool. He's a mix between the, the good and evil sort of body types. Um, they kind of they kind of threw everything at the wall with this one and end up with something uh, kind of cool and, and kind of interesting without being over the top. And that is Zodak. All right, so at the end of the day, um, Series 3. And, and like I said before, um, these Masters of the Universe Origins figures are wonderful. They are a great, great line. They're probably my favorite thing right now. And I can't think of anything else that, that I would rather be collecting right now as far as new stuff is concerned. They've come out with some awesome characters. They seem to be doing the line proud, doing the characters the way they're supposed to be, the way they're supposed to look. They're really, really awesome. <laughs> that, that mix of uh, the, the modern posing and retro play or the retro style looking figures um, is just wonderful. Mwah! Chef's kiss to me. This is a great combination. I hope this line goes on and on and we get even more figures than we had in the vintage line. But I have one problem. There's been one problem ever since the beginning of the line and it continues even for myself. Um, was finding certain figures has been a pain in the ass. And you've had to go online and had to uh, deal with scalpers and people that are nefarious and would like you to pay, overpay, sometimes twice as much, three times as much, ten times as much as the retail price. And that is the main issue on these figures. I wish more people were able to get these at retail for retail price. Other than that, Masters of the Universe Origin Series 3, pretty awesome.